We have the parametric curve x of t equals 5 plus e to the t power and y of t equals 7 plus 6 times t. Represent the length of the parametric curve from uh, t goes from 0 to 2.5 as a definite integral and then use your calculator to evaluate the integral. All right, so for re for convenience, I um I already wrote the length of an arc formula or arc length formula right here, um, integral from a to b uh, of the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared times dt. And I also copied the question right here as well. And also for reference, I graphed the the parametric curve right here. Now by looking at the curve, I can get a rough idea of the length of it already that horizontally it's going from about five or six to about like 18 or 19. Vertically it's going from about five or six up to about 21 or 22 or so. So I would have to say that length maybe 20 something maybe what would be a just an estimate of the length. But anyways to get the exact answer let's use the formula. So so the first thing you have to do is get the derivatives of x and, and y. All right, so uh, dx dt, oops. dx dt, well, the 5 drops out. The derivative et is et. Now in the formula, you have to square those derivatives. So um, let's just do that right now. So dx dt squared is e to the t power squared, which is e to the 2t power. All right, dy dt is equal to um, the derivative of 7 plus 6t. The 7 drops out. Derivative 6t is just 6. And then the square, dy dt squared, is then just 6 squared, which is 36. Okay, so now back to the formula. I've got the derivative squared plus derivative squared and my integral boundaries are from 0 to 2.5. So integral 0 to 2.5 of the square root of dx dt squared e to t uh, plus dy dt squared, which is 36, uh, times dt. Okay, well, that's the setup. And that, that was part A. So let, let's type that in um, right here. So the, the integral is already... The, the, the integral sign and the boundaries are already input for us. So just type in the um, the, uh, the 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 integrand, the, the thing you're doing the integral of. So you can click the square root symbol right there. And then um, e to the 2t power. And then um, plus, what was it, 36? Yeah, 36. All right. And then the dt is also uh, written for us as well. Okay, now for the actual length. Um, so occasionally, when you're doing these arc length questions, you'll get lucky and you can do some maybe some clever algebraic manipulation, and you can you can um, c come up with something that's easily um, integrable. However, um, this one there there's no easy way to integrate this. Um, there might be some really clever technique or there might be something on an integral table, but it, but it, it's not going to be easy if it's even possible. It may, may not even be possible. So we, we will just use, um, and in fact, the directions say to use a calculator. Um, so let, let's, use, let's start with the graphing calculator and then we'll use Mathematica as well. So for the graphing calculator, um, turn it on. Uh, you can use the FN int, go to the math menu, option number nine, FN int, and just type in, start with the, exp the expression square roots. So square roots e to the 2t power, except for the calculator, we have to use x. I, I, actually, you could use t, but it's just easier to use x. Um, okay, e to the 2t power plus 36. Closing parentheses to close off the square root part, and then comma, and then variable, x, and then comma, and then um, the boundaries, 0 to 2.5. 0, comma, 2.5. And closing parentheses, and enter. Okay, 19.6007, the direction said round two digits, so 0. 0.60. 
So a little bit shorter than I thought when I looked at the at the graph, but 19.6, that's not that um, surprising. So now let's type that in, 19.60. You don't really need this zero, but I'll put it in anyways, because it says round two digits. All right, and submits. Okay, I see what happened. The square root didn't didn't go all the way over. All right, let's fix that real quick here. So it's E2T plus 36. There we go. Now, now that now it should be right. Okay, submit question. There it is. Okay, so um, that is the answer to this question. Now, I'd also like to show you on Mathematica how you can do this. Um, so here, here we have Mathematica. Um, the integrate command may or may not work. Um, so just be safe. I'll use because we're using um, uh, numerical techniques here. I will just use the n integrate command and then square root. Hold on, let me make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So n integrate square roots of um, what e? I'll do exp two t. All right, that's same as e to the 2t power plus 36. Um, okay, and then comma, and then t goes from 0 to 2.5. Closing, and then, oh, did I miss? Oh, the square root. Yeah, there we go. Gosh, I keep forgetting. Um, okay, so it's the square root of e to t power plus 36. All right. Let's uh, enter it in. Okay, same that the calculator gave us, 19.60. Round it off. All right, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.